And it's so creepy! Hey everybody! Welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are going to, well, we're going to go to a couple of places. We're going to be going first to a waterfall down in Uvita called Catarata Pavon. And then after that we're going to be hitting up um, a really cool beach close to Uvita, a little bit closer back to Capos, called Playa Ventanas. It's like really cool layered rock formations. So <laughs> we're going to go check that out and show you guys along the way. This is where Jason went to drop off fish when he was a fisher. Oh, wow. Oh, There's a uh, truck here. Fish. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're just arriving now. Oh my god, the, <laughs> the road is totally mud. Um, we're just arriving now to the, the waterfall and we just found this like cool little river slash waterfall along the way. Check it out. All right, we're carrying on. And we should arrive to the waterfall any second now. What? Nothing! Aquí lloviendo no puede pasar uno. Sí, se yuca. Yuca. Y aquí está Sandra. Yuca, yuca. Bueno, todo, vea, todo. Uy, caña también, vea, allá hay caña. Esta hay una caña? que es como así y otra la que es de azúcar, que es chiquitita. So, I'm feeling a little bit lost. We've been driving for a while and I don't remember the path exactly. So, we just asked and we are finding our way now. <laughs> we are a little bit lost, but we will make it, we will make it. I think we made it. Okay, so I can hear the water. Oh my god, guys, this is so beautiful. Okay, so this isn't, this was not the goal, but this is really nice anyways. Ooh, the water is so cold and fresh. I wish I had water shoes, this hurts. We're gonna have to figure out what we do because I really, really want to get to this waterfall. So it's cool, like it, it's a waterfall that has like a massive boulder right in the center of where the water falls. So it becomes like two streams and it's really beautiful. But, um, oh yeah, and like a really nice little pool underneath it. We're gonna keep looking for the actual waterfall now because this just wasn't what we expected. Even though it's beautiful, look, we're having like a little photo shoot here. <laughs> the blue water is just incredible. It's so, so pretty, right? So, yeah, we're gonna head back to the car and see if we can find this other place. It's so hard because there's no clear paths and you kind of just have to guess at the random holes into the jungle. So we're just trying our best to find it in this mess of jungle. <laughs> oh, bueno. Oh. Algo si se llama. Pulpura. 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 The flower looks so weird. <laughs> Looking. No. No waterfall. pretty but it's not a waterfall okay guys so we just asked some more people <laughs> about where we're going and um, now we're going back up the hill back the right way and we know exactly where we're going so 
we should get there in like five ten minutes okay so we're back to the same the very first path that i thought was the way to go so let's go <laughs> It literally just didn't look like it was correct because there's like tubing and stuff so I just didn't think about it. But let's see. We're almost there guys. So yeah, in reality this would only take about like, okay from Capo specifically it takes about let's say an hour and a half, maybe almost two hours to get to. But from the main highway it should only take like half an hour or less and it took us like an hour. And check this out, we've got some a, co a cacao tree. Look at this. We've got fresh cacao. Ay, por fin llegamos! We made it! You literally can't even hear this from the road. Oh man, look at this! As you can see, like here, it has like two streams coming down because of that massive boulder that's in the center there. Um, we were gonna like swim and stuff here, but oh, and sorry. Normally, you can go inside of that hole there underneath the waterfall, but the water is really intense right now, so it's just not the right season to be doing that. Because like, if you can see, like down here, it's like it was almost hard enough just to walk to this little shore here because the water, the current is so strong. But um. Yeah, we're gonna move on to the next stop because it's gonna rain soon, I think. Because we're really high up in the mountains, so we're gonna get out of here and move to the beach. So guys, check out this gas station. It is literally like Jurassic Park themed. <laughs> check it out. There's a big fucking dinosaur here. <laughs> Let's go. The Bluetooth device. arrived to Playa Ventanas, Window Beach, and it is so pretty here. It's not the same as it was before COVID. I don't see nearly as many vendors here. Like all of this area used to have like tents with like people selling ceviches and cold drinks, but not for now. But and over here, like over here, we're going to go and check out and like there's like a opening where you can go, it's like a little cave and you can walk through it and it's really cool. Well, it depends on the tide, but it looks like I can probably get a little bit in there. So we'll see how that goes. Ceviche. <laughs> pescado? ¿Sabes? Dos. 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 Chile. So, um, so caldosa is like when you get like ceviche and you put it into like the bag of chips. And you have like the crunchy chips with it. That's good. So she asked if we want spicy or not. Delicious. Is it? Okay. It's good. Gracias.
heading over to the cave over there because the tide's coming in. We want to be able to check it out before the water gets too deep over there. So let's go that way. That looks scary. Look at this creepy cave, guys. That looks like seaweed on the walls. And look, this can get actually seriously dangerous if you stay here when the tide is up. Uh, it is so creepy. <sighs> There's water falling everywhere. I can't go in with the camera. <laughs> but, oh man, it's so cool. So that was the first cave, and now we're gonna go and check out the second one because I didn't even remember that there was a second one, but let's see. So yeah, normally you can go in this one like further in, because if you see it's like much larger than the other one, but there's like lifeguards there telling us not to go in now because it's getting a little bit out of hand. Let me see if I can zoom in to show you the water. Like right there, you can see the water coming in. And basically the biggest danger with that is that you can smack your head up really good if you get caught in the tide. Alright guys, so that is fly ventanas. And these are technically the ventanas, the windows. The windows that lead to the sea. So it's pretty cool. Like a lot, a lot of people come here just to like take photos in front of it and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this beach, you do have to pay to get in. Um, it depends on the size of your car. So if you're like on a motorcycle, it's like a thousand colonas. If you're in a car, 2,000. But yeah, it totally depends on what you're doing and stuff like that. Because uh, Jason was saying how it's actually like a privately owned property. And that's why they charge. But I don't know if that's a real fact or what. But um, that's the case. And there's some people having a dance party over there in the background. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> they definitely were able to find some beers and we weren't. <laughs> but yeah, this is like so beautiful. It would be cool if I could go in a little bit further, but yeah, it's just way too unsafe right now. There's like so much water rushing in. It almost looks like you'd be like walking out into like deep, deep water out there. <laughs> but yeah, this is super cool. And then after this, I think, I think we're gonna head out pretty soon and then probably stop by and get some lunch somewhere. So, see what we do about that. Okay, here I am trying to cross this fucking river and I just broke my sandals. <laughs> okay, almost there. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Dominical now and we're gonna be going to Fuego again if you haven't seen the video of us tasting the beers before uh, I recommend you go check that out I'm gonna put a little card up here so you can click and go to that um, but yeah so we're gonna go and grab a bite to eat and I think have a beer or two we'll see what happens and uh, maybe a coffee I don't know we don't know yet but um, yeah we need a bite to eat and we need a bathroom so we are arriving to Fuego now and just gonna eat something there. Alright guys, so we just finished our lunch and the door's locked. <laughs> We're gonna head up to one of my friends. Um, like It's like a hotel place that you can stay over, but they have like a pool, restaurant, place to have like a few drinks or whatever, like fresh smoothies, whatever you want. Um, and it's high up in the mountains. So we're gonna go up there and show you guys the beautiful view. 
So let's go and see what we can enjoy. I'm so excited to get into the pool to be honest, but let's see. Ese era esto. Okay, guys, so here we are at Ranchos Los Compares. Um, I'm gonna stop filming here now because I just want to enjoy and like relax and drink my beer in peace. So I'm gonna hit the pool and check out this beautiful view. If you guys liked the video today, seeing all the waterfalls and the beach and all that fun stuff, don't forget to give my video a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'm gonna leave the directions for each place that we went to today in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more content by me. Thanks so much guys, and I'll see you next time.